Our next topic, Cape Bridges. We all agree they need to be replaced, right? Replaced? They should have been replaced 20 okay. years ago. Yeah. It cost billions of dollars to do it. The Biden administration has approved hundreds of millions, but nearly not enough to cover full replacement. So are, are you worried about funding from Washington drying up? So we're almost there on the Sagamore, right? And, and, and the governor and our congressional delegation has done a fabulous job, right? Getting basically a big chunk of money appropriated for, you know, out of the federal budget, another chunk of money in this grant, mm -hmm. um, the state, you know, basically ponying up you know, over $600 million to replace the Sagamore. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident we need one more uh, grant to come through, which I think we're hoping that we, we get. Um, and then we'll be there with the Sagamore. I think the concern now is how do you make sure that we also get resources for the Bourne Bridge? And we're running up against, you know, we're running up against but sort of the timeline here. How, how do you? Well, I, I, I think we have to use the same playbook, right? right. And I think that'll work well um, if we continue to have a, a Democratic administration. I, I think if things change after this election, uh, we're going to have a pretty hard time. I'm very, you know, there's a lot of reasons why Cape Codders should be worried about this presidential election, but Cape Cod bridges, wastewater, offshore wind, <laughs> right. um, you know, basic decent humanity, <laughs> uh, you know, all, all, all should be among them. I want to I want to ask you about this. Massachusetts was the first state to legalize same sex marriage, yet we lag behind legal protections for LGBTQ families. You back the passage of what's called the Parentage Rights Bill. Tell us about that. We have been a leader in Massachusetts on the vanguard on LGBTQ equity 20 years ago, and we've really rested on our laurels. And so now we're in a situation where LGBTQ families do not have protections under our laws that all other New England what states have. Mean? So let me explain this. Um, un under our parentage laws, so were my sister and sister-in-law to be traveling you know, in, in, in one of these dozens of states that are attacking LGBTQ people and families in a way like no other, right? And something, God forbid, catastrophic happened to my sister, the birth mother of my, my nephew, Kian. Um, in one of those states, in, in an Alabama or Idaho or pick the state, right? It's possible that my nephew, Kian, could be taken away from his mom because of uh, the outdated parentage law that we have here in Massachusetts. So the Mass Parentage Act updates those laws. Um, it protects LGBTQ families. Every other New England state has passed these protections. Mm -hmm. Michigan just passed these protections. We are really falling behind here. And why LGBTQ are we falling behind here? You know, because I, I, I think that, I think that we get a little complacent with LGBTQ equity, right? I, I think we remember and we're proud of being first in marriage, first in nominal discrimination, early in trans rights. But this is something where there's really been a gap. And look, this is a the Mass Parentage Act, this is a bipartisan, mm -hmm. strongly supported proposal. The governor's in favor of it, the attorney general's in favor of it. What's its future right now? We're hoping to get it done. I'm working with Sarah Peake in the House, also Bruce Tarr, right. Senator Bruce Tarr, Representative Hannah Kane, both Republicans, the bipartisan bill. So we're trying to get this over the finish line desperately before the end of the session. Um, and, and I think I'm, I'm confident we can get it done. Right. But it's really important, I think, that viewers appreciate and understand that we've got work to do in LGBTQ equity, particularly when LGBTQ people are under attack like never before. Senator, thank this you country. so much for making the schlep into it. Thank you so much for having me. Great to see you. Enjoy the rest of your Julia Sunday. Julia Sear has been with us.